check that. He's here. Oh, he's trying to tear up our... What's he doing? He's trying to tear up our... Our saw. Why? I wonder if this will work. Can I get it? Oh, I can. Did he do any damage? Okay, well, he kind of got stuck. So, that's kind of cheating a little bit, but... Hey, it's early game, man. I'm gonna do what I can to survive, right? Hey everybody, welcome back to The Infected. We are starting a brand new season today. Brand new season 3. A fresh start, new game. The developer came out with a big update. We're on our version... This is version 5.5. The big update was version 5.0. He's had a few hot fixes in between. So, the reason why I'm starting here with the beginning opening screen here is if you never played this game before, he has settings here where the, he calls a swarm attack uh, is when the bambies come at night and you can't sleep through this. So, I've got it set. The default is three days and it's enabled. You can also turn off predators, wild animals, uh, and you can turn the vambies off altogether if you want to. So you can have a totally peaceful game if you decide to do that. But I left everything default. Um, the... I think our first... Let me see here. Yeah, so the first... Uh, the, the frequency is every three days. That's the default. And I think the first one doesn't start until day 10, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead and load in. I've started a new season already. Um, and I went ahead and I, I have grinded out about two hours already in this game. And so I'm going to show you around and show you what I've done. And this is my just my opinion on if you're playing this game, what you need to do first with this brand new game. So let's see where I think we let's see. We just started a brand new day, I believe. Yeah, it's 6.30 a.m. We're on day four. And day 10 is when the swarm starts happening at night. So let me walk you around here and show you what I've done. And I would also like to get your opinion, your guys' opinion, down in the comments below. Would you rather see? Would you rather see uh, my pro my progress after the early grind, or would you rather me start from scratch, just a you know, just a piece of land and start that way? I'd really like your opinion, so if you would let me know down in the comments section. So let's take a look around here, and what, what I would recommend you do first if you're playing this game, when you first start out, find a bit of water, just a body of water. So there are fish in here, so we can use our spear to fish. Uh, it's hard to see them when it's not during the daylight. Um, when the sun comes out, it's really easy to see them, but that's, that's where we get our fish from, and that's the first typically the first source of protein you get early on. So, um, as you can see, I've got a ghost outline of my base. This is what it's going to look out, look, look like when I'm done, the starter base. But the first thing I do is I put down three saws. And these are these are easy to make. It's one of the first things you do, you have in, you, in your t tutorial. That's one of the first things. And I'll show you, um, we'll kind of go through here what what it takes to make one of those. Let's see, it's in placeables, saw benches, just four wood logs. So the tutorial takes you through crafting your first axe, your first um, your first pick, and then it just goes from there. You, you craft your, your saw bench. So I've got three set down, and what I typically will do is I'll lay out a ghost image of everything that I want show you for example here placeables so I'll lay out this ghost image like that and I'll just you know press all three of them and that kind of reminds me of what I need to do need to do and then to remove these you just go up to it and hit the delete key gets rid of it so my work cart my log cart this was a ghost image because this requires one iron ingot to craft I laid down a ghost image of that and my three benches, that was the first thing that I did. And then I started laying out my base, okay? 
uh, you do a ghost image of your fireplace. Uh, my racks. This is a firewood rack. This is a, a rack for sticks. Drying rack. This is for drying fish and for drying meat. Both. And this requires one iron ingot. So he has d totally redid the way iron ingots are are found now. You used to be able to get an iron ingot or iron ore, excuse me. You used to be able to get a piece of iron ore in a rock when you crushed it. Now all you get is copper ore. So now when we do iron ingots, we get we uh, melt down two pieces of stone and you get iron fragments like this okay and it takes five of these to make one iron ingot so let's get a rock I got my my uh, rock holder here so we put piece two pieces of rock in here those will melt down to get fragments here we've got one iron ingot another iron fragment so I'm gonna throw those in there and that will create one iron ingot like that and on this one we've got two more iron fragments now in the old version you would get either a copper ingot I'm sorry you would either get a copper fragment or an iron fragment okay now you only get iron so as far as I know right now this is the only way to craft our our iron ingots okay Oops, I meant to get two rocks. There we go. So, I've crafted three of these. It takes 28 rocks to craft one of these. And I just keep them hopping all the time. I gotta get some firewood. I also crafted a, a firewood holder here. Just for the simple fact that I keep these going all the time. Now, the first thing I recommend you do, once you get one iron ingot craft a workbench because you need this workbench to craft everything else okay also whenever you craft your forges here you have to have a ceiling over it because it rains every day so as long as you that was the first thing I did I built these built the foundation these walls and the ceiling to cover this so I can keep them going all the time whoops as long as they have firewood let me get rid of this plank also, you want a plank holder because if you have extra planks in your in your bag like this, you can't put them back on a saw. So, I created one of these to hold our extra planks. Okay, that takes it out of our inventory, and then we have that space there. So you press, you go up to your holder, and you press E to get get that stuff out of your inventory. Okay, so now let's throw some more firewood. These these have went out. These two here on the end. I need to go gather some more firewood. So this is early game. Oh, I'm sorry. This one, this one, just needs to be lit. There we go. So this is early game now. This is what you want to get going. You need those ingots to craft everything. Uh, let's take a look real quick here. All the things that we we need early on are placeables. Uh, the saw bench, circular saw bench, this takes eight iron ingots and cobalt ingots. Cobalt is a new a new uh, ingot in this in this new version. Um, the workbench, we talked about that, takes one iron ingot. The loom, we have to get the technology for all this stuff. Um, storage uh, weapon rack, you need to craft one rep weapon rack. And because you can only have four slots over here in your bag, so you always need to craft a weapon rack to swap these out. Okay. I forgot I broke my spear my last fight. So craft a bed early on. That doesn't take that doesn't take any ingots to craft it. Let's see, is it in others? Yes just take six planks so all of these all of your building materials or all of your building pieces take planks and wood logs so I think he's I think he lowered some of the requirements for the 
for the walls and stuff. I think they used to be four logs, and now they're only three, which is nice because you can carry three at a time. But they all require planks as well, so you got to get those those saws out there cranking down on the, on the planks. So I will eventually. I want. I'm gonna put. I'll put stairs here, and make a second floor like our old base was for winter time. So I will have it enclosed. Um, I will have this area enclosed during the winter time, and then the summertime we'll take the top off, the ceiling off, so we can get rain on our plants. But if you remember my last season. We had rain issues. I'm sorry, we had cold issues. And we had to, we were really struggling to keep that thing, keep the, the uh, house warm so we wouldn't lose all of our plants. Alright, so once again, we got five iron fragments here. Throw another rock in there. So, I was really dreading this, to be honest with you, when I found out what he did, and I was like, oh man, it's going to be such a grind. It's really not as bad as it first appears. So, I'm out of rocks. I'm going to go, now I'm going to take our, we still get copper ore out of just the regular rocks, okay? So, I'm going to show you why you need this. You hit N, why this is so important, because you take it out when you go collect rock. This is clay here. I'm not concerned with it at the moment. I do need that bird, though. Because I need feathers. Let's see if we can hit him with our spear. I've got a bow, but I don't want to waste the arrows right now. Come on, buddy. I've only got a few arrows. Nailed him. Alright. Now birds only get feathers now. But we need all those feathers for our arrows. And to craft a winter jacket. Which we are right now. We are in May spring. <clears throat> so we'll be thinking about winter pretty soon. Uh, if, you're one, if you are playing this game and you haven't played a while, you haven't played since the update, and you're worried about your old base, it's probably underwater. Let's take a look at the map. Well, actually, let me gather these stones up real quick, and I'll show you, because I want to keep those going, and I'll show you why you need this. Of course, you can only carry so many stone. So, if you have this, it won't go on an angle like this, but you can set it right down here, and this thing holds quite a bit of stone. Grab all of our stone. And again, there used to be iron fragments in here. Now it's just copper. Not fragments. Ore. I'll get it right in a minute. Alright, so I'll throw all those stones in there. Because, you know, we can't... You can barely move. Until we get the bigger backpack, this is our best option. Hit E to fill this up. Alright, let's crack this rock right here. And we don't have to worry about Bambies yet. They... See, we're already overweight. I can only carry 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, about 10, 10 stone. That puts us overweight. So this is why this this holder is very important, or crate, whatever it's called. It's pretty important to have early game. There we go. Alright, let's gather the rest of this. Um, did I have... No, I haven't got any copper yet either in there. Usually, well, I don't know. I'm not sure what the what the ratio is, you know, as far as having a copper fragment in there. But I've had pretty good luck getting them so far. Alright. I'm going to grab this one rock here. 
hit in, and we'll move it back inside. You just saw my plants, I'll cover that in a minute. Alright. Let's see how we're doing here. So let's see, we're back up to four fragments already. And there's another ingot, there's another fragment. So we'll have another ingot there. So again, if you got three of these going, it you know it goes pretty quick. I need one more piece of rock. There we go. All right. So you know I've got one, two, three, four, five, got six ingots now, set in here that I can build with. All right. So next thing I want to cover real quick is. And again, I'll, I will continue working off camera on the rest of the space. And I may go ahead and just build the whole base, you know, like I want it from the get-go. I know I want to have this top floor for my, for my uh, plants. So we'll see. I may just do it all the way I want it from the get-go. So I've got our plants out here. we got cucumbers. I was lucky enough to find three of those. And I, got, I found a potato and I found the corn. So again, these are crucial to have early on because your cucumbers... I don't have any on me right now. I'm going to go ahead and harvest these while it's raining so they get water. And again, it, it rains every day. So the cucumbers... He changed the stats on all the food as well. Uh, but the cucumbers give us not only 10 health but also 10 carbs. Right now we're low on fats. Um, these are eight. Potato is six. And this cooked fish is ten. So that's nice. We need to grab some water. Hopefully I have some water in here. I do. There we go. I need to refill this while it's out. Uh, I do have some cooked meat on here. Um, the spoiled food, it's probably raw meat that's spoiled. There you go. Let's throw this. Actually, let me see my dried. Okay, this is still going. And let's go fill up. Let's see. Do I have any water left in here? No. Now I want to show you why I want to build why you want to build close to water. Until you get the bigger thermos. This is a little bit grindy. It takes four times four trips to fill this up until you get the bigger thermos which takes aluminum and I've got to got to do a little research on how we get aluminum now there are no more aluminum nodes you gonna land again bird whoops So again, I was I, I had mixed emotions when I first you know heard that he was going to do a brand new update, change the the map around. But there are some things that I really like about it, and I'm going to show you that in the new map here in just a minute. Some things that I like the way he changed. I say he. I'm assuming that the developers a he. If it's a she, I totally apologize. There we go. And. Do a little micromanaging here. Potatoes are awesome. Again, if you haven't played this game, uh, you can. When you find potatoes, you want to bake them because they really increase everything better when they're baked. Uh, they're great on the carbs. Let's go. Uh, let's go in the water, and I want to show you what the fish. How easy it is to find fish when the sun is out. 
I can see one right there. Boop. And then you hit E and it goes in your backpack. Here's a tuna. Not sure how we got a tuna in, in a pond, but I'm going with it because I think it gives you more meat. So anyway, it's, it's extremely easy to fish. Hit E and throw it in your backpack. So when the sun is shining, it's really easy to see those fish. And if we look at our if we look at our backpack, we got them hitting here, and then we just throw them on the ground. Um, so better see how much room. Throw them on the ground. Right click to harvest, just like we do our wood, and then automatically goes into our backpack. Okay, pretty simple. Let's see how much room. So again, this is all the early game stuff is just, um, you know, just always, always do something. Always be doing something. Now this has dirty water because it didn't fill this up completely, so we, we always want to empty this and don't drink. We don't want to drink our dirty water. It'll make us sick. Alright, so let's put a few logs on this thing. And fire it up. There we go. Okay, um, the new map. Let's cover that. I'm gonna grab all these stones and sticks. My next prod, my next, um, I need to have a fence around this thing by day 10 uh, to keep the families out. Even though there's only three, and three is very manageable, but then they keep going three days after and they increase one, they increase by one each time so again three is manageable four is manageable um, but then it starts getting pretty hairy if you do not have a fence so I I want to fence up by day 10 you definitely want that and our fence um, rope it requires rope wooden fence six logs and four rope so it's fences are kind of a pain in the rear to be honest with you and let's see the gate where's the gate here's the gate the gate takes four copper ingots so we should have enough copper by then to make one gate so okay let me throw these rocks away or actually let me swap these out just again to show you that it's not not quite as grindy. We we got another ingot. Not quite as grindy as I thought it was going to be. There we go. See, we've already got another ingot, or we will have. I need to go again. This is just, um, you know gathering resources. I need to get some more firewood because these are going out. I need one more piece of rock. So that's why it's crucial to build that rock crate. I think. Alright, let's get rid of this ingot. And you'll need more storage. He did change the way the storage boxes look. I think they're, they look better. They got that light wood. And I think it's easier to see items in here. So good job on that. I, I really like that a lot. Uh, ropes. We'll need that for our fence. And they are created with fiber. Um, we go down to bulk. Plant fiber. You can... 50 plant fiber creates 25 rope. So that's that's pretty quick and easy and again you do all that on the workbench so it's very important to get that workbench your first iron ingot craft this workbench I would definitely recommend that uh, okay so the last thing I want to show you let's see we're hurting on something what we're we hurting on fats okay what do we got what do we have that gives us the most fats dried fish is eight baked potato is six. Oh, cooked meat is 20 fat Nice. Alright. So let's load up on that. There we go. And our water's done over here, I know. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, when you have a fireplace outside, you have to create, create this shelter early on. 
and it's pretty cheap. Um, is it others? Yeah, right here. It's only two logs and six plank, so it's cheap to craft also. But when it rains, and it does rain every day, your fireplace, your fire will go out. All right, let's take a drink and refill this. We got our meat. Um, spoiled food. Last season, I would just eat the spoiled food because it actually gives you carbs and a little bit of fat. Uh, I think in this season we actually do something with the spoiled food, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna eat it. How are we doing on there? Okay, this is all done. So I like this dried fish. Let me show you the difference. The dried fish, 35 protein, um, cooked fish, I don't have any cooked fish. I'm going to cook one up just to show the difference. Now let's, let's cook a couple up. And we can look at the stats, the difference. It lasts longer as well. And you can do meat on here as well. So the difference in the meat, 25 protein, 20 protein on just the regular cooked. Fat's 20, fat's 15. So a little lower on the dry meat and the fat, but you get more protein. And protein is harder to come by, I think. Uh, baked potatoes give you no protein. They give you a lot of carbs. That's the best source of carbs that we have in the game right now. Unless he changed that. Those are 15. The cucumbers are 10. Yeah, so I think, I think that's the best source of carbs. Uh, dried fish gives us 35 protein. That's pretty good. That's the best, actually, I believe. All right, let's pull this cooked fish off and we can tell the difference. So we got 25 protein, 10 fat. So less protein, but more fat. And this is more protein and less fat. So you kind of have to keep a good balance of you know everything in here, which is cool. I do I like that. Speaking of carbs, we're low on carbs, and the baked potato gives us. 15 carbs. Yeah, so all my potatoes, every one that I grow, I, I make a baked potato. Trust me on that one. You'll you'll be glad you did. Okay. Um, let's throw this spoiled food in so I figure out why I need to keep it. And we got one more fish here. The bluegill. I love bluegill. And let's see, do we, oh yeah, we've got room over here. So we're going to, oh, I only, only got one piece of meat out of that little bitty bluegill. That's right, he's a small fish, it's okay. I hear a bear. Um, early game, I'd stay away from the bear. You do have to kill two animals. No, he's over there. You have to kill two animals to craft the quiver. It takes... It takes two animal hide, but you don't have to kill bears. You can kill boars, you can kill deer, you can kill... Oh, there's two bears over there. See that? That's that's a little unfair. There's one up there on the hill, and there's one right there. That's ugly. So, um, you have to kill two animals. So I would suggest, you know, killing a sheep or a goat, whatever they are. I think it's goats, and a deer... Something like that. Something that won't attack you. Oh, I see a potato plant over here. Those are gold. Yeah, buddy. Those are gold. Um, I need another... I actually need another... I need another bird. Stop. Right behind him. Darn it. Alright, we're gonna nail it. We're gonna... We're gonna... Oh, well, oh, wait. What? Oh, no. We don't have any arrows. Darn it. Okay. Where'd my spear go?
There it is. Okay. Keep an eye out for that bear. They will... Those bears will... They'll take you out. Early. Oh, there he is. Okay. He hasn't seen us yet. And I don't have any arrows. I need some arrows. Just another thing I gotta craft up. Okay. Uh, I don't think he'll be able to detect us in here. Uh, now, one thing the developer did fix was these used to have collision, and now you walk right through them. Hopefully I can get back in here without him seeing us. Oh. Check that. He's here. Oh, he's trying to tear up our... What's he doing? He's trying to tear up our... Our saw. Why? I wonder if this will work. Can I get him? Oh, I can. Did he do any damage? Okay, well, he kind of got stuck. So, that's kind of cheating a little bit, but... Hey, it's early game, man. I'm going to do what I can to survive, right? Do we have any room left on this? We have a place for one. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna throw my potatoes on here. Always throw your potatoes on here. And we'll cook this other piece of meat up. Very good. Okay, last thing I want to show you. We got a little action with the bear. Last thing I want to show you is the map. The new map. And he has basically divided this up in two, three sections with the river. So all this river it did not used to be like this. And there's three sections. So this will make it easier to uh, know where you've been, you know, as far as searching for the camps, because the camps used to be noted on here. If we toggle view, I haven't, you, as you can see, I haven't explored at all. So we'll, uh, we'll go out exploring our next episode and We'll find the camps because that's the one, probably the biggest change he made in this is the Bambi camps. They used to be kind of a military looking camp and now there's houses that you go in and the military camps only had one piece of check, tech in them, or blueprints as they're called. And now there could be up to three pieces of tech in those, in the in the houses or the, or the camps. So... I say up to three. That's from what I've read. There's up to three, maybe more. Uh, but there's also loot now. You know, you, you didn't. There was nothing to loot before in the in the camps, and now you can loot in the houses. So he's. I do like that that he added all that. And then the next thing that he's added is these ore extraction sites. So this is where we're going to get our aluminum. I'm assuming, and you know, different uh, coal and different. I don't think we can get iron. I think it's just aluminum and oh, and cobalt. Cobalt is a new one. So from what I'm reading, we have to build an extractor, which, to be honest with you, I haven't even looked yet what it takes to build one. Um, mineral extractor extracts stone and ores. See map markers for specific ore extraction locations. So that's 20 iron ingots for one of those. That's that's pretty stout. Uh, and the oil extractor takes cobalt and and tech that we have to find. So this mineral extractor will craft one of those, 20 iron ingots, and then they need to be placed on these. Well, we've got one close here. So maybe next episode we'll work on that, and then we'll do some searching around to find the new Vambi camps and see what they look like. And I'll show you one one of those by then I'll be I'll do some background work and off-camera work and I'll be better prepared to show you some of the new stuff in the next episode so make sure and join me for the next episode and hey if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you like this video please hit that thumbs up it helps me out a lot and make sure and join me for more episodes of the infected thanks for watching bye for now